In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple blitz that you can use that is going to be able to guarantee pressure if they're passing, if they're only if they're blocking uh, only five people, so if they're sending five out on a route, or sometimes, occasionally, this will work um, if they're sending out, um, if, if they're only blocking like their running back. This is a very good blitz, and it is very simple to set up. Now, this comes to us out of the Dime 236 Will formation, and we're going to be taking a look at the play DB Fire 2. Now, you can find this defense in the Baltimore Ravens defense playbook. I'm actually going to be dropping an ebook on this um, in my Patreon membership over the course of the next week. So, if you want to get access to my Patreon membership, there's a link in the description below. By joining up, by becoming a Patreon member, you're going to get access to all 20 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, you're also going to get access to any um, future ebooks or all of my updates. We do updates every single week um, where we kind of share some of the meta, some of the tweaks, some of the little, little adjustments, um, some little changes as well. So if you want to get access to all of that content, we've got hundreds of updates in there. We've got over, uh, I think we're going to have 21 ebooks by the end of the week. So if you want to check that out, it's only $10 a month to sign up. There's a link in the description if you'd like to sign up for it. Now, uh, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to show you this simple defense out of DB Fire 2. It's very simple. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to come out with our auto alignment set to base. And then um, you can see here, these are basically my adjustments. It's real, real simple. And we're just going to come out. And I like to press. You don't have to, but I like to press. And then I'm going to stand right here. And what I like to do is um, hit the X button. And you can flick the right joystick up. And you'll notice that I'm kind of holding my player down and he's not moving. Why? Because uh, what I've done is I have adjusted him or I've kind of pre-adjusted. So like I can blitz my user, for example, and I can sit at this menu and he's not moving because I haven't completed my adjustment. If I complete my adjustment, you'll see it's going to be putting my guy in man coverage. So the basically the game kind of freezes in this adjustment and you can hit any button uh, on the joystick and it's not going to change that. Why this will be helpful for shooting the run, for example. Let me try to show you. Um, so, like, if they run the ball, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can show you like an inside zone here. Tight slots week. Um, so yeah, perfect example. So here, inside zone. I'm standing right here. I'm kind of holding my joystick down. And as soon as they snap the ball, you'll see I can just fly in and make a play. It's a lot easier to do that and it, once you've got your placement. So, anyways, you can do that little trick right there. Again, all you do is just simply put your guy in man coverage. Um, it's the easiest way to kind of allow yourself to do that. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. It's just a simple way that helps you shoot the run a little bit better. Okay? Now, the next thing that I want to tell you about is just the basics of the blitz. So, the, the blitz is really simple. All you want to do is you just want to run down at the center. Now, uh, one of my favorite little tricks is to hit left trigger um, to kind of strafe and help my guy change direction. So what you'll see is when I run down, I can kind of change direction. And you see that oftentimes the quarterback will, you just a basic five man blitz. It really is very simple. Um, again, you're just standing right here. I, you, you can, again, if you, if you want to blitz your user, that's fine. If you don't want to blitz your user, that's fine. I tend to not. Um, you know, but if you put your user, it's really not that big of a deal. And again, as you can see, really, really fast pressure and it just, it just comes in. It's very simple, um, pressure. Now I want to kind of do a little confession with you here. If they block their tight end, just like within, just like in three, three, five wide, this blitz can get picked up, but sometimes it loops around. And really what this is, is it's just a simple pressure that, um, it's been Madden for years. Pretty much every year, this is a good blitz. And again, you'll see, you know, the reason why people don't run this is primarily because of the fact that they're worried that they might get ran on. And in this year's game, if you come out with a heavy set, like a slot, for example, then yeah, you might get ran on. But if you're not in something, not dealing with something like that, this is a great, um, a great little looping blitz. And again, Sometimes the defensive tackle will come free, sometimes the outside corner on the right, sometimes the outside corner on the left. And, and really what this blitz does is it just kind of, again, kind of makes them feel the pressure. And a lot of times, even if they block a tight end or running back, you're going to get a quick disengage, a quick shed or something like that. Now I want to show you another formation that I actually think this is even better against. So it's really good against Bunch, um, but it's also really good um, as a trip side end player, someone that likes to run trips. I hate playing this um, because um, it's just a simple, simple thing. So again, I'm going to run inside zone from trips. You want to stand, you know, kind of right in here, if you will. And then um, what I like to do is, you know, kind of hold him just like this. 
you see against inside zone a lot of times you can shoot it there i wasn't able to um trips is a little bit of a different beast than bunches for example um so you might need to like hold left trigger kind of wait a little bit and then go and you see there you can shoot the run so stopping the run is really not that hard this year um in terms of the ability to shoot it right so now what you're going to see is they're going to have to pass and what you'll see is against the pa counter go I forgot to pass commit, but against PA counter go, PA counter go, in my opinion, has the best blocking in the game. It, it really does. It's it's one of the better blocking um, you know formations uh, in the game this year, and this can give it some trouble. The running back doesn't always pick him up, and sometimes the running back will dumb out. A very simple thing you can do is you can spread your linebackers, kind of get some wide rush angles, um, you know, just kind of doing little things here and there to kind of tweak it. But this blitz is very effective. And you see, see how they loop and see how they just kind of disengage. And, again, it's just one of those pressures this year that is kind of um, – it's just kind of glitchy. It doesn't work every time. But when it does work, it's really good and it's real simple. And, again, it's out of a cover two shell. Um, you know, obviously, if they don't block running back, then, yeah, this is going to work pretty much every time against anything. Um, if they don't block a running back. I'll show you another setup here. Or another concept out of verticals has so play action blocking this year just kind of dumbs out a lot of blitzes which is one of the one of the many reasons why i like trips that in but anyways you'll see a lot of times um you see right there simple edge pressure very simple and a lot of times what will happen is the running back will kind of get confused um as to who to block that's just been my experience in game it's not really happening in this but a lot of times running back will get confused or you'll get these random sheds doesn't come in every time but occasionally when it does come in it's really 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 good against a blocked running back um and again if the running back's on a route it's generally a pretty decent assumption that this blitz is going to come in now what about a tight end blocking on a trips tight end uh, if a tight end blocks out a trip side in, same kind of thing here. Um, a lot of times you'll get the pressure off the left side. Sometimes you'll even get a disengage through the middle if they don't have an ability on their center. So like if they have a post up, let's say they have a post up on their guard and a post up on their two guards, but they don't have anything on their center. A lot of times this will come in um, completely free, you know, and again, it's just a simple blitz. You're going to get sheds. You're going to get disengages if they block somebody. If they send five out, um, this is going to become a very big problem and so you don't want to do this every time by no means do you ever want to do this you ever want to run a blitz every single time but at the right time you can see it gets great pressure so that's the video db fire 2 real simple setup literally just baseline and press you can baseline in your coach settings so all you gotta do is come out and press i like to pass commit just in case i'm playing somebody that's running play action run at the center real quick come out of it and as you can see great great defense so thanks for watching the video mesh this with some coverage and this is a really really good defense again if you want to get access to my 236 will ebook as soon as it drops join our patreon it's only ten dollars to sign up gets you access to everything we've got a ton of material already in there and we've got a ton of material on the way so thanks for watching if you want to get all the access to all the ebooks join the membership link is in the description